If speed of the boat downstream is 7 km per hour and speed of the boat upstream is 5 km per hour, try to find out the rate of stream. Hello everyone, this is Aksha and now we are going to discuss about boats and streams. This lecture includes concepts, formulae and solutions to the questions. Let's get started. Getting into boats and streams, let us first understand what upstream and downstream are. Let us assume that the boat is traveling in this direction and the stream in the opposite direction to that of the boat. If the stream and the boat are in the opposite direction, it is known as upstream. Here in the second case, the boat and the stream are in the same direction. If both are in the same direction, it is known as downstream. Now, let us assume the speed of the boat to be u and the speed of the stream to be v. Here also it will be the same. The speed of the boat is u and the speed of the stream is v. Like speed of the boat in still water is u kilometers per hour. And speed of the stream is v. After assuming this, the formula of down speed will be u plus v as they both are traveling in the same direction. If both are traveling in the same direction, their speeds automatically adds. So, downstream speed is u plus v. Coming to upstream speed, it will be u minus v as they both are in opposite directions. And the units for this will always be kilometers per hour. Let us assume the downstream speed to be A and this to be B. Then then speed in still water will be half of downstream speed plus upstream speed which is half of a plus b as i've already assigned it earlier the second formula is rate of stream which is half of a minus b kilometers per hour that means half of downstream speed minus upstream speed these are the basic formulas which we have to remember to solve any questions of boats and streams. Let's directly jump into the types of problems of what we have in boats and streams. So the first type of problems we deal with in boats and streams are purely formula based. So the questions are directly given, it's directly based on formulas. And the second type will be the ratio. Then the third type will be tricky questions which involves the formula speed is equals to distance by time. So you have to remember the formula of speed is equals to distance by time. Yeah. Then let us directly jump into the formula based questions. Now coming to type one, which is formula based. Let us first understand the question. A man can row upstream 10 kilometers per hour and downstream 20 kilometers per hour. Find the man's rate in still water and rate of current. Before getting into the answer, first think about the formulas what we have. We directly have formulas for rate in still water and rate of current. So rate in still water is half of A plus B. Rate of current is half of A minus B. We directly have these. Let us try to understand the question. A man can row upstream 10 kilometers per hour. This means a man can move against the stream with the speed of 10 kilometers per hour. And downstream, that means he is moving in the direction of stream in 20 kilometers per hour. Now, downstream means A and upstream means B. So here, we have solved half of the question. Let us first write what is given. Downstream speed is 20 and 10. Now, let us find the rate in still water, which is half of A plus B. That is half of A is 20 
plus b is 10 which is 30 divided by 2 that is 15 and the units are kilometers per hour similarly rate of current is equals to rate of stream so rate of streams formula half of a minus b which is half of 20 minus 10 that is 10 divided by 2 that is 5 kilometers per hour so let's solve the question getting on to the second question let us understand the question the speed of stream is thrice of both speed the downstream speed is 10 kilometers per hour find the speed of stream let us assume the both speed to be x then speed of stream is thrice of both speed if both speed is x then speed of stream is thrice so thrice of both speed which is x so 3x now as we know that both stream is u and speed of stream is v let us find the downstream speed u plus v which is x plus 3x that is 4x but it is already given that downstream speed is 10 so let us equate both of them so x will be 10 divided by 4 that is 2.5 kilometer per hour then the question is not yet done they've asked us the speed of stream but what we have got is the speed of boat to find speed of stream it is thrice of x that is thrice of 2.5 that is 7.5 kilometers per hour this is the answer the type 2 questions at first let us understand the question a man takes twice as long to row a distance against the stream as to row the same distance in favor of the stream the ratio of the speed of the boat in still water and the stream is what so here in this question they are indirectly telling us that Let us assume that the man's upstream speed be x. Then the relation which is given in the question is the man's downstream speed is twice that of upstream speed. So this is the information which is indirectly given in the question. So writing this in the numerical form. This is what is given in the first part of the question. Now, upstream as we've already assumed it to be B in the earlier video and downstream as A. Now, the ratio of speed of boat and still water and the stream. We know that the formula for this is half of A plus B and the formula for this is half of A minus B. Now, ratio of these two that is half of a plus B is to half of A minus B. Now, we know that A is 2x and B is x. So now the value for this will be 3x divided by 2 is to x divided by 2. That is 3. We cancel this. It's 3 is to 1. So ratio problems are generally asked in this type. Divide the question and read it twice for better understanding of these questions. That is tricky questions which involve this formula. As you all are aware of this formula, we've been learning it from our childhood. It is P is equals to distance by time. Yes, in boats and streams, this is the most important formula and it's almost involved in many of the questions of boats and streams. Let us first read the question. Speed of a boat in standing water is 9 km per hour and speed of the stream is 1.5 km per hour. A man rows to a place at a distance of 105 km and comes back to the starting point. The total time taken by him is what? Now, what they have given us here is speed of boat in standing water is this and speed of stream and they have also given us a distance like the total distance and they're asking us the total time now let us first write what is given 
as we have denoted it earlier that speed of boat in standing water as u I have directly written that u is 9 kilometers per hour and speed of stream is v so i'm directly writing it as 1.5 now let us find the upstream and downstream formulas for upstream as we've discussed earlier it is u minus v and downstream this means they are in the same direction so u plus v yeah now let us find upstream and upstream is also denoted as d and downstream as a now a is 9 plus 1.5 that is u plus v and b is 9 minus 1.5 this is u and this is v now a is 10.5 b is 7.5 we know that the total distance is 105 now we know the distance speed and time are related as speed is equals to distance by time we know the total distance speed can be found by adding these two and time is to be found now so to find t s comes here so d by s the total distance is 105 divided by speeds are these two now adding these two is 10.5 plus 7.5 which is equal to the total time so t will be 105 divided by 10.5 plus 105 divided by 7.5 which is equal to 10 plus 40 that is 24 hours and this is the answer now coming to the second question let us understand this question a man rose to a place 48 kilometers distance and back in 14 hours he finds that he can row 4 kilometers with the stream and in the same time 3 kilometers against the stream the rate of the stream is what? Now we should find the rate of the stream. Let us assume that he can row 4 kilometers in some x hours. So now let us find, so here they have given us the distance and this distance is with the stream. With the stream means that the boat and the stream are in the same direction. So it is downstream. So downstream distance is given as 4. In the same time, 3 kilometers against the stream. Against the stream means the boat and the stream are in the opposite direction. So it is upstream. So 3 upstream. Yeah. So now uh, down speed is equal to distance by time. We have assumed the distance to be in x. So, downstream speed is 4 divided by, that is the distance divided by time. Time is x as we have assumed. And upstream speed is, again distance by time, but here the distance is 3 and the time we have assumed is x. Now, we have got the downstream speed and upstream speed. We also know the complete distance which it has traveled. And we also know the complete time of what they took so now we know the distance we know the speed and we know the time let us relate it using speed is equal to distance by time so 48 is the distance divided by this is the speed two speeds downstream plus upstream and this is equals to the time this came from t is equals to d by s exchange these two terms on solving this, we find the value of x. So, on solving this further, the value of x will be 1 by 2. Now, we have assumed that the downstream speed is 4 by x. Now, downstream speed is 4 divided by 1 by 2, that is 8. And upstream speed is 3 divided by 1 by 2, that is x, is 6. Now, we have got downstream speed and upstream speed. Now we've got the direct formula for rate of the stream. Rate of the stream is half of a minus b. As we have uh, seen in the earlier videos, downstream speed is denoted by the letter a and upstream as b. So let us substitute the values of a and b. Half of a is 8 and this is 6. So half of 2, that is 1 kilometer per hour. This is the rate of the stream. So do practice as many questions as possible to understand the concept thoroughly.